Yo, 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 hey guys, it's Poppy Jocksate here. Back with another unboxing, and today, as you can see, I have a bit of a double unboxing from the good folks over at Puma. So, shout out to the folks at Puma for sending these over. We have two pairs of the same exact sneaker, uh, but they're very, very unique in the fact that the way that the, she the sneaker is made and the sneaker is mad comfortable. I actually had the opportunity to try these on already before I did the unboxing. So one of these is already worn, but the other is not. So without further ado, let's hop right in to the first pair. So this is the Puma Zetic Half Light. It's spelled X-E-T-I-C and you are probably already familiar with this technology, uh, but you just don't realize it yet. So let me get these out of the box and there you go. So this pair, uh, as you can tell <laughs> by the way the outsole looks, has already been worn, um, but I'm happy that I actually put these on because they are mad, mad comfy. So when I say that you've actually seen this tech before, it's because you've seen the Zetic and the Puma Zetic Calibrate. That was another shoe that they had that had the Zetic technology all the way through the midsole, but it had different uppers. The uppers of those were made of engineered knit, whereas these, they use a mesh on the upper, which is just as breathable and feels as, as just as good. But I actually think this is going to be a bit more durable than the engineered mesh version, uh, but we'll get into all of those details as well. So anyway, so this is the Puma Zetic Half Life. It looks a little bit like a running shoe, but it's definitely more in the lifestyle vein when it comes to sneakers. As you see, it has mesh mesh for the majority of the upper and then it has these synthetic overlays, has a little bit of Zetic branding there from Puma Future Labs designed in Boston, Mass. Uh, this was designed by a bunch of engineers who came up with the Zetic tech which has their computated infinity shapes and they have like this computational cushioning that they use inside of here. So these shapes, as you can see, they look a little bit like the infinity symbol or the number eight, and you can see through some of them, but basically what they've done is they've carved these places in the shoe that will help with compression so that it compresses in just the right way based on your foot. So there's shapes all over. You see they're on the medial side, you see them on the lateral side as well, and they're throughout this entire foam area here at the heel, and it gives you a slightly different feel when it comes to stepping in the shoe and the heel strikers and how that's going to feel on your foot. So I, I think it looks pretty cool and it's definitely super comfortable. I've actually tried these on a bit, again, as you can see from the outsole. And speaking of the outsole, they did a really great job with these. There is a ton of rubber on the outsole, which for me is uh, something that I appreciate when brands do. Sometimes you get really, thin rubber on the outsole and then the shoes wear out pretty quickly with these. I feel like you're gonna be able to wear these for a while before this rubber actually wears out. You see it has a couple of different pods. There's one at the ball of your foot, one for the toe, and then you have a ton here at the heel. You can see the Zetic foam popping out a little bit there at the heel, but for the most part, the entire outsole is covered with rubber and it's pretty thick as well. So you're gonna be able to wear these for a while. Now they do, not that you would go running in these, but they do have a bit of an overlay here to kind of help your foot from rolling over on the edge. Again, this is a lifestyle shoe, not something that you would necessarily run in, but you do have that there for an additional set of protection. Uh, on the performance side, you do have a little bit of a heel counter here. It's not a very high heel counter, but it's there obviously to keep your foot locked in and that adds to the comfort and also helps prevent you from rolling your ankle. A lot of people think you need a high shoe to stop you from rolling your ankle, but the heel counter plays a big, big part in that because it kind of keeps your ankle stable. Now, they have a bunch of different colorways in these and as this one, you can see it goes with black and a bright like neon green, which kind of reminds me of a video game system, but I'm not gonna talk about that. Um, other details about these is the cushioning. So I talked about the cushioning with the Zetic Tech that's in the uh, midsole, but then they also have Pro Foam Light, which is here at the toe. So you get the Zetic Foam cushioning and responsiveness there on the heel, but as you roll your foot, you go into the Pro Foam Light and you get that soft feeling there as well. All together, like putting those two together, it creates a really like soft, I would say almost like cloud-like pillow sort of feeling. It, you, you sink down into it a little bit. It's not super soft where you like lose yourself into it, but you step down into it, you feel it, and then you roll into the front, into the pro light, to the pro foam light, and you feel that as well. So it's a, 
almost like a dual density foam situation when it comes to sneakers. I say all that not to get super technical, but just to try to explain what the comfort feels like because these shoes are definitely comfort. And part of that is obviously the midsole and the outsole, but part of it is also the upper with the mesh because it's super soft, but then the padding is really great on these as well. So you have nice padding here on the tongue and the tongue stretches down all the way to, it looks like it goes down pretty far. So I would say you get, you get like, you get tongue exposure that goes down to about here so that it's not sitting on top of your foot. Sometimes you get a smaller or thinner tongue and it provides a little bit of irritation here, like right by where the laces are. But this one, they've expanded it down so it almost wraps around the top of your foot and which alleviates a lot of that irritation or hot spots that you can get from your tongue. Plus it's padded as well, has a little bit of thickness to it. So you're gonna feel that padding as well. Part of that padding is also because of the laces. So depending on how tight you tie your laces when you wear your shoes, this should avoid any hot spots as well because you have foam that's inside the tongue that's providing some additional protection. Obviously you have the heel pull back here in case that's what you need to put your shoes on if you're lazy like me and don't always untie your shoes. These heel pulls come in very clutch. You have the Puma branding there on the heel, which is always nice. And then we also get the Puma branding there on the tongue as well. Now, Puma was nice enough to actually send me two colorways. This one is the one that caught my eye the most, but there's a second pair, which you guys saw at the beginning of this unboxing. And this color looks very nice as well. And with this one, I feel like you can see the Zedic Tech a little bit more. So you can see it here in black and you can see it here in the green, but I just feel like the black pops a little more because the shapes are so dense and the light comes through a little bit more. Here, the light comes through, but you don't see it as much because of the green, but in the black, like the white light kind of pops a lot when you see through there. Now, material wise, these both use the same sort of materials. Uh, the mesh is the same, obviously just white and black. The outsole rubber is the same, obviously just going with different color choices there on these. The synthetic here on the side is pretty much the same. And then the tongues, feel like they're the same as well. It's almost like a, a little bit of felt here in the middle, but the rest is like a synthetic material as well that's very, very soft and feels good to the touch, which obviously translates to feeling good on your feet as well. So as I was saying earlier, the Zedic Calibrate has this technology all the way through. With this setup, it's more of a lifestyle setup where it's not focused on the performance of the Zedic, but more the feeling of the Zedic. So you get that, that, that initial soft, touchdown from the heel to the toe, which is, which is really nice. Now, pricing wise, these are $120, which is not as expensive as the Zedic Calibrate, which had, again, had the tech all the way through. Here you get the Zedic in the back, but then you get the Pro Foam Light in the front, which is very soft as well, and something that I recommend you trying out if you haven't tried it already. So, a lot of times you get insoles and shoes and they're pretty thin, but with the Zedic, they give you a pretty thick insole that's going to provide a little bit more cushioning than you would get with a normal a lot of times those normal insoles are pretty thin but with this one you've got i would say maybe a quarter of an inch of thickness here on the insole which is going to provide a lot of additional comfort with just the step in feel and over time having this extra cushion is going to feel better as well so because it, it's not going to wear down as quickly going against that strobo board you'll have this additional foam cushioning there but i'm sorry i know i keep getting technical about it but i, I want you just to enjoy these and just know that they're comfortable and I, i'm sorry about getting all like into the the fine details about it but i just get excited about this kind of stuff that's just part of my sneaker world anyway uh, as always thank you for watching Thank you for Puma. Make sure you like, favorite, and subscribe. If you want to see more content like this, I'm Jacques Slade, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.